Welcome to St. Mary's Paris. Welcome everyone, please stand. Come the fount of every blessing, tune my heart to sing thy grace. Streams of mercy never ceasing, call for songs of loudest praise. Teach me songs. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let's open our hearts to God's infinite love. Let's allow him to pour his love and mercy in our hearts as we acknowledge our sins and receive his wonderful mercy. Lord Jesus, you, proclaim, you came to proclaim the love of God the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to lead us to the Father's house. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you prepared for us a place in the Father's house where you will love us for all of eternity. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we recall year by year the mysteries by which, through the restoration of its original dignity, human nature has received the hope of rising again, we earnestly beseech your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate in faith we may possess in unending love through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest and all who were with him, that is, the sect of the Sadducees, being filled with jealousy, arrested the apostles and put them in the public prison. But during the night, an angel of the Lord opened the prison doors, brought them out and said, Go, stand in the temple, and tell the people the whole message about this life. When they heard this, they entered the temple at daybreak and went on with their teaching. When the high priest and those with him arrived, they called together the council and the whole body of the elders of Israel and sent to the prison to have them brought. But when the temple police went there, they did not find them in the prison. So they returned and reported, we found the prison securely locked and the guards standing at the doors. But when we opened them, we found no one inside. Now when the captain of the temple and the chief priests heard these words, they were perplexed about them wondering what might be going on. Then someone arrived and announced, Look, the men whom you put in prison are standing in the temple and teaching the people. Then the captain went with the temple police and brought them, but without violence, for they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. from the Holy Gospel according to John. 
Jesus said to Nicodemus, God so loved the world that he gave his only son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. Indeed, God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Those who believe in him are not condemned, but those who do not believe are condemned already, because they have not believed in the name of the only Son of God. And this is the judgment that the light has come into the world, but people loved darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For all who do evil hate the light and do not come to the light, so that their deeds may not be exposed. But those who do what is true come to the light, so that it may be clearly seen that their deeds have been done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. God so loved the world. What a wonderful mystery. This God of love, this God who is love, who loves the world, who loves each and every one of us with an everlasting love, an infinite love, this wonderful God of love. And the truth is, is that if we open our hearts to this love, it's intoxicating. There's nothing more wonderful than the love of God. And God desperately wants us to know his love. He made us out of love for love. He commands us to love. When the Lord Jesus was asked, what's the greatest commandment? The, the, Lord's, the Lord says, you shall love. We're commanded to love. And so the question is, why not? Why not then at least attempt to love the God who made us? Why not take him at his word and, and just, just decide, you know what, God of infinite love, I'm going to try to love you. And this is something, you know, I've been, been kind of working at, you know, especially when I go up to my cabin in the woods, you know, I, 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 I've been kind of challenging myself, try to love God, try to enter into the love of God, you know, sing his praises and, 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 and just delight in him. And uh, it's a battle. You know, that was the basic principle with the desert fathers. The desert fathers went into the wilderness to love God. And they quickly discovered it's a battle. I think part of the battle is if we really want to love God, it's not just warm, fuzzy feelings. Although, again, the Lord, he pours out his, his sweetness, his consolations and all that. But, you know, sometimes you might go into the wilderness wanting to love God. And all of a sudden, you just find yourself overwhelmed with kind of memories of someone you're angry with. And these, these memories, these thoughts, they just won't let you go. Well, maybe the Lord is calling you as a way of loving him to forgive the person who hurt you so that you can unblock what's preventing you from loving God more. And so again, the, 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 the romantic ideal of going into the wilderness just to love God and kind of be inebriated with his love, uh, there's the experience of those who've done it. that They say it's, it's a battle. You're wrestling with God, you know, but again, those who've, who've kind of really set their hearts on, on, on trying to love God um, have experienced, again, just, just tremendous delights. And, and the love of God is also transformative. So God's love just doesn't touch us, but it changes us. It leaves us, it leaves us different. And this is something you know, I, I encourage people to do, similar in, in vain to, you've heard of Catherine Doherty, the foundress of Madonna House. You know, she encouraged people to go into what she called a pustinia. I think pustinia, is that the Russian word for desert? Is that what that is? For 24 hours. And I always thought, I, I think every parish should have a little cabin deep in the woods somewhere for the parishioners. So if you have a parishioner who decides, I want to go love God for 24 hours, great, we have the place for you. Go love God. Give it a try. You know, go wrestle. Wrestle with what's going on inside of you and, and, and make that offering to the Lord. I remember when I was first ordained, I had this deep desire, so I decided to build a raft. 
and put it on a secluded lake in the wilderness. And I sat on the raft for eight days, just me alone on a raft in the wilderness. And my desire was just to love God for those days. And I remember telling, I forget who it was, one of the superiors of the community, I say, listen, if something happens to me, if I get hit by lightning or get eaten by a bear, I want you to know I died trying to love God. That's what I was doing out there. I was trying to love God. Let that be known, you know. And so we should have a place like that. Don't you think that's a brilliant idea? You know, let's get a little cabin in the woods somewhere for St. Mary's parishioners. Someone feels the call, and it's, 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 it's the Lord who draws us. Scripture says, the Lord says, I will allure her and lead her into the wilderness and speak tenderly to her. And even Jesus, the Spirit, drew him into the wilderness. He had to do battle, but again, it's, it's, it's a calling. And I think that's part of the emptiness of our society. We don't do real stuff anymore. You know, don't watch YouTube videos about going to the wilderness. Go yourself. Leave your technology behind and go try to love God and see what happens. Your experience will be different than you expect, but be assured you can't outdo God in generosity. You go into the wilderness for 24 hours with the sole desire to love God, He will honor you for that. He will bless you for that, and you will come back a richer person. I forgot to ask a show of hands for who wants St. Mary's to have a little cabin in the wilderness. Oh, a few of you, good. This, this is more for kind of entertainment purposes. I don't know if we'll actually do this, but uh, who knows. We'll, we'll, let, we'll leave that, in the, that dream in the Lord's hands. With confidence, we bring our cares and concerns before God the Father, who loved the world so much that he gave his only Son so that everyone who believes in him may not be lost, but may have eternal life. That the church may always be a living sign of God's love and mercy in times of darkness and despair, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may live in such a manner that the love of God may shine forth in all our actions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the love of God may bring peace into our hearts and harmony in our lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That through the care and attention shown by their family and friends, the sick and those who suffer may realize that they are loved by God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may all share in the glory of the resurrection, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intention of today's Mass for Mallory McPherson, offered by Linda Cobb, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, look with love on all your children and guide us safely in our pilgrim journey. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. I love you, Lord. Oh, your mercy never fails. of the goodness of God. All my life you have been faithful. All my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, I will sing of the good of God. I love your voice. You have led me to the fire. In darkest night, you are close like 
like no other I've known you as a father I've known you as a friend I have lived in the goodness of God All my life you have been faithful All my life you have been so, so good With every breath that I am able I will sing of the goodness of God, I will sing of the goodness of God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one true supreme, the one supreme Godhead, grant we pray that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and, and drink, drink this cup, cup we, we proclaim, proclaim your death, O Lord. Lord until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Marcel, our Bishop, Yvonne, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only, only say, say the word, word and my soul, soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord. And lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. Abba, Father, bless your sons and daughters. Abba, Father, through your risen and glorified Son, Jesus, and by the power of your most Holy Spirit, pour your love now into the hearts of your children. Father, see these open hearts and come with your wonderful love. Father, inebriate your children with your spirit. Lord, let your children have a burning desire to love you above all else through this blessing. Lord, through this blessing, set your children free, heal your children, and make them new. May the blessing of Almighty God descend upon you now, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, o Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Who breaks the power of sin and darkness, whose love is mighty and so much stronger, the King of glory, the King above all kings, who shakes the whole earth with holy thunder and leaves us breathless in our I sing for all what you've done for me. Who rules the nations with truth and justice, shines like the sun in all of its brilliance, the King of glory, the King above all kings. Yeah, this is you've done for me. Jesus, I sing for all what you've done for me. God bless you, everyone. Have a beautiful day.